In this video, I want to demonstrate how we can calculate Cohen's D, a measure of effect size that is typically reported in conjunction with t-test results. While a t-test will calculate the difference in means between two groups and report on statistical significance, it's important to keep in mind that statistical significance says nothing directly about effect size, or the actual magnitude of the difference observed in our sample. While that plays into statistical significance, other factors come into play as well, including variance and sample size. Statistical significance really speaks to how confident we can be that what we observe in our sample is likely occurring to some degree in the population. In other words, it tells us whether we can be confident in rejecting our null hypothesis. It's quite possible for one to find a statistically significant difference between the means of two groups on some interval measure, even if that difference in means is quite small, substantively speaking. This is particularly true in cases where you have a very large sample size. This is where Cohen's D comes in. It offers a measure of effect size that complements one's inferential statistics. It conveys the estimated strength or magnitude of the observed difference by reporting the difference in pooled standard deviation units. One can see that in the equation for Cohen's D. Fortunately, there's a user written command in data for Cohen's D, and it's quite simple. In the command window, you simply type Cohen D, then your interval variable, in this case, SOS trust, and then your dichotomous variable gender in this case, and hit return. This command produces three different measures of effect size, but we'll focus on just the first, Cohen's D and Cohen's D corrected for uneven groups. Typically these are quite similar, particularly when rounded. How do we interpret Cohen's D? First, we're only interested in the absolute value. It does not matter whether D is a positive or negative value. That's simply an artifact of which value was subtracted from which value. Second, there are standard benchmarks we can use in describing Cohen's D. 0 to 0.19 in absolute value is considered a small effect. 0.2 to 0.49 is considered a medium effect. And 0.5 and above is considered a large effect. Again, you will often see Cohen's D reported in conjunction with t-test results. One could report the results as follows. 